Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Alicia. Today I have the Fall Fab Fit Fun Box. Um, this says pumpkin nice, pumpkin nice, pumpkin spice and everything nice. I will say I'm opening this on I think July 30th. So on one hand, I'm thankful that Fab Fit Fun kind of comes early. I love watching the spoilers come out and I really do just love this box, but it doesn't feel like fall at all all um it just got hot here in california um it was a very kind of cool may it really into june so it doesn't feel like fall but the things i got in this box aren't really fall anyway so what have you i feel like a broken record probably the last two boxes plus this box i will say it again this is one of my favorite lifestyle boxes i think you get the most bang for your buck especially if you pay for the year because you get to pick everything you get a slight you know a slight discount at the same time for three boxes in a row for me it's just kind of eh so anyway i don't know um let me know what you guys think so also i've been wondering if i'm crazy was there a time where we had seven or eight choices i want to say no but then for the last like few several boxes Choice six was one where like a couple of the choices had like two or three items, a little bit lower price, but you could still get like two or three items. So I wondered, have we consolidated from like seven choices to six or something, or am I just totally making that up? Anyway, I've taken out the packaging. There is no brochure, which is fine because it was never helpful. Um, I do now see a QR code, but it says explore some of the internet's best deals. So that's not helpful at all. Um, so that didn't really do anything. Uh, I did take a couple notes on prices. You do get a random free sample of Ricola. I've only tried one type of this and I taste it awful. So I don't know. This says caramel flavor. So maybe they've realized that their original brand is... For me personally a no-go all right so let's get into this uh the only thing that i wanted that i didn't get was the um fenty glow i was on a cruise and so i did not have internet um on the cruise and so i guess i could have paid for the day but that seemed excessive so i didn't get to customize until like almost two days in and so the fenty was already sold out Everything else I pretty much think is I got is what I wanted. Um, so let's start with the Murad Hydration. And quite a few of these options, in a way, I'm choosing the best of what they had. But a lot of these aren't exciting me. Like I have, at this point, I have about two to three, like, really good um, moisturizers. And so... I, you know, this doesn't quite, this didn't really excite me. Um, so it was the lesser of the evils. This is an $83 product. Um, I went on their website today, FabFitFun, to kind of like, I wanted some information. They, Murad, highlights their top three ingredients in this as shea butter, sunflower oil, coconut, fruit, extract, and avocado oil, which I guess is for and those aren't bad, but like those by itself to me would never make you want to pay $83. So I wanted to see what other ingredients they had. The packaging is nice, but it is plastic. So almost for $83, maybe glass, but I mean, I don't want them to take away from the ingredients. Personally, I don't think this has ingredients worth $83. My, the two or three moisturizers I mentioned are all about $55 each, have way better ingredients than this for $83. I use Skin Fix and I now have a Dr. Jart one that I can't remember the name of. Better ingredients than this for less. Um, and this might have more product. Um, I can't see. Uh, 1.7 ounces, so I think they're the same. But then when I was looking this up, this has allotin, which is good, sodium hyaluronate, oat kernel, which is good um, for soothing, 
And then very low, almost the last two ingredients, but they're there, are two peptides. And maybe that's why they don't advertise the peptides <coughs> because they're almost the last ingredient on the list. And if you don't know, the top ingredient has the most and the last ingredient has the, the, the least. So it is, it made me like it better to know there's peptides. At this point, I want a peptide and or a ceramide in my um, routine. So I really don't understand why this is $83. Is Mirad just worth $83? Um, it looks like a very thick cream. Um, yeah, it's thick, but like, I think it's going to come out. Yeah. It looks thick in the jar, but it comes out very almost gel-like. It'll be interesting. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I will give it a try, um, but I'm getting to the point where I only want to use products I love, so we will see. I will try, but I was just underwhelmed with the ingredient list for $83, if we're going to be honest. So anyway, there is my first um, thing. All right, if you notice some starts and stops in the footage, it's because my daughter and I had some crazy virus. I haven't had the chills and the fevers in a long time. So it's to pause and cough off camera. But anyway, next up, I picked the Boar Bristle Brush. Um, this is by Living Proof, I think. I was trying to, and then it's valued at $45, which I don't really know if that's a fair shake on the price probably what Living Proof sells it for. But I love boar bristle brushes and I kind of think, I don't remember. Oh, this is an interesting one. Um, this is like, and I don't remember whether this was like authentic boar bristle. A lot of times now they're synthetic boar bristle, which means they're not boar bristle. Um, and I don't think it shows. So I've not had a boar bristle exactly like this. So this is just like all of that. Um, this is what the back looks like. So I got a boar bristle brush from Complex Culture, which is Ipsy's brand. And I actually love the brush itself. Um, and it has the bristles, but then it also has the plasticky bits. So that's why I've never had one like this. So I'm interested to see how this does. This brush would be an A++, but when I first got it, there was like a slick coating that all peeled off, which would have been fine, but now it's getting all gunky. Like that is sticky. So anyway, I was looking for a replacement. Um, interesting. So I don't know. I'm interested whether I will like this or not, how it'll be on my hair. Um, but anyway, glad to try it and happy not to have to buy it with my own money. Uh, the one item, weirdly enough, that I'm excited about are the salt and pepper shakers. And that's the last box of, of Fat Fit Fun that I've really been excited about. And I don't know whether maybe it was last summer where I got the colander, the mixing bowls, the mixing, the measuring cups. Like, I don't know. That's the kind of stuff that excites me anymore at this point. I don't go out and buy new stuff for my house often. Um, these actually match the color of our kitchen. The tile backsplash is like a sage green. Now they say these are, I think a $25 value. Um, I just think they're super cute. Again, the colors match. They have an S and a P. I'm interested on how the P is. Normally pepper has less little uh, holes they have basically the same, so I'm interested on that. Um, but our salt and pepper shakers are literally the cheapest generic one you can buy at uh, Walmart. So I'm excited to have some new really cute pepper shakers. All right, this bracelet I think is what I had to pick instead of the Fenty, but I could be wrong. Um, and I have to say it was not... If it wasn't in place of the Fenty because the Fenty was out, it's just the lesser of the evils. They're saying that this is $45. Honestly, I don't think so personally. 
This is by Alex and Ani, and that means nothing to me. Let me know. I, are those big influencers? Is that a good company? I don't know. Um, so this is what it looks like here. It is a cuff. Um, they're claiming crystals. I don't know. Is it really crystals? Um, it says emerald crystal represents hope and spiritual growth and is believed to bring good fortune and prosperity. Um... So I'm surprised that it mostly fits right out of the gate for me, um, which I almost want to say if you have a small wrist, that might be bad. Um, I just pulled it apart so it's very easily malleable, which I almost, maybe it's too malleable. So I do think it would be adjustable. Um, so I don't know. It comes with a little case, which I won't use. Um, this is probably my least exciting item. <clears throat> I often don't remember to put on bracelets. Um, even though it does stretch, you can tell for me that these guys, the crystals are kind of farther apart. And I kind of like my bracelets to be, um, fairly loose. So I almost wish when they did bracelets, they had like a small and a large size or something. Um... So there's this item. Um, next up, we have the pimple patches, and I have no idea which categories these are from. Um, the pimple patches, number one, I love pimple patches. I highly recommend them if you haven't given them a try. Um, these are by Bloom. This was definitely the only sort of useful thing in this particular category. They're valuing them at 30 bucks, which is very high priced. <sighs> Um, for pimple patches, like I have, um, I, at the moment my brain is fading on the brand, but they're 24 pa little pimple patches for $10. And so this is 48 for 30. So still $10 more. Um, so I'm excited to have them. I will use them. I hope they work. Um, they are a definitely not one of those invisible ones. I don't normally wear mine through the day anyway. I prefer, I think they work best to put them on before you go to bed and then wake up and take them off. They do work. Like if you peel them off, you can see all the junk it sucked out. Um, and these are large size, which I appreciate. When I get a pimple, it is generally this big heinous red thing. I have one right here today. Um, and so some of the ones that have a small size and a big size, the small ones are useless. And I do believe these are all large, which I appreciate. I mean, God bless you. If you have the little tiny cute pimples, I've never, never had tiny cute pimples. Um, anywho, so I will use these again. It was just the lesser of the evils. And I feel like they have pimple patches in every season. It seems like. Um, and then my very last item, which I'm kind of excited about, but in all honesty, I just think it won't be used. And this is one of those, uh, fanny packs. It's so funny that fanny packs have come back in. Um, but of course now you wear them sideways because it wouldn't be cool to wear them as a fanny pack. Um, and so I don't have one. I can see where it would be nice to be hands-free. Um, I liked the color of this. I think this comes with some sort of online thing that I will never do, like some kind of exercise thing. Um, it has an outside pout. I will say this zipper. I don't know. I want to say on this edge right here, it almost seems like it wants to split. I don't know. It's a very weird. It's almost like the um, zippers inversed. Like this is the stuff that would normally be on the inside is on the outside. I don't know. Um, and then it has a larger um, pouch here with an interior zipper, which I like. Because you could put like a pad or something in there so then that's not flopping around. 
you can put your keys. I will say on this, the zippers don't feel extra quality. I think it'll be good enough. I was curious and on all the, um, what would you call it? Spoilers that people do. I don't think anybody said how long this is. And so I would really don't think it would go around my waist at all. Uh, I am. Yeah, I would guess not. I'm plus size. Um, I'm sure it's fine for anybody not plus size, but I would almost think this won't fit. Let's see. Uh, no, by like four inches. So even necklaces that are too heavy, like I don't like wearing my body, body, uh, cross body purse. I'm the person that has to kind of rotate every 30 minutes. Um, cause if something's too heavy on one of my shoulders, it somehow makes my neck kind of have strain. Um, so that's my only thing that I was like, you know, I never even know if this like, so I, I was afraid that this would happen. Um, so I have it as large as it will stretch. So I kind of wonder, I mean, I know that I'm plus size and I'm tall. I'm about five, eight and a half, five, nine. But I mean, nobody wants to wear it right there. When I see it in videos, I see this definitely below your boobs. So I was afraid of this when I picked this, but this is ridiculous. Um, probably if you're a size medium, you're going to be fine. Um, so this could just be because I'm plus size, but clearly nobody wants to wear it like that, right? I'm not crazy. I just, that's just ridiculous. So this is definitely not useful. Uh, no, I, I, it was, I don't think there was anything else I really wanted in this category. Um, theoretically my daughter could use this. She's eight, so she doesn't really have a use for this. So I don't know. This might go in a giveaway when I do a giveaway. It honestly might go to Goodwill. I don't know. Um, and so this is where I'm at with Fat Fit Fun. I'm addicted, but I've already, like, this was the end of my year. And so I already, I'm going to go cancel. Not to necessarily cancel, cancel. Oh, gosh. Oh, it's a size sticker on my shirt. <clears throat> anyway. But I'm not going to renew for the uh, winter unless I love, love everything. That's the only downfall with buying it for the year is you can't skip a month. Now you can get credit in the store, but personally, I don't think I would get um, this kind of quality of stuff in the store with like the $50 of credit. Um, so as long as this brush, no, not this brush, where's the other brush? As long as this brush works for my hair, I like the brush, I love the salt and pepper shakers, I will definitely use the pimple patches. <coughs> we will see about the $83 face cream. Um, this is definitely like a no-go. <coughs> anyway, thank you guys for joining me. I hope you have a great day and I will talk to you soon.